Maybe you have heard of Evening Shade, Arkansas, because there was a sitcom with Burt Reynolds in it, recorded here. Well, I am in Evening Shade, Arkansas today, and I'm going to take you a tour of some of the great features of this little town, as well as a small neighborhood where I have a home listed for sale and a video of that home as well. So please come take a look at Evening Shade, Arkansas and see what you've been missing. Evening Shade has this really cute park where it has a nice walking trail, some picnic tables, a couple play areas, jungle gym, basketball hoop. This is right off Main Street, so it's easy to get to. And it's right next to the fire department. They've got parking, they've got benches, all along the walking trails. So if you get tired, you can sit down and rest. Just off to our right is the Evening Shade Gym and Activity Center, where they have many annual events throughout the year. If they can't have them outside at the park, like the Easter egg hunt, fireworks, they have a fall festival with a parade. They've also had community Thanksgiving dinners and an old-fashioned Christmas celebration. For the main part of Main Street, you'll have City Hall and Woody's Cafe. And if you go on further down Main Street, you can get to the park with the walking trail. And if you go a little bit farther, you can get to the VFW. Evening Shade has a population of about 430. Like most of the area, they have hot, humid summers and mild to cool winters. It was a county seat for 95 years, and then they split it for a while between Hardy and Evening Shade, and eventually they took both of Hardy and Evening Shade away and put it in Ashland. Once they closed down the school and transferred everyone to Cave City, a lot of the businesses declined, declined and closed. And plus, Cave City and Ashlet have just grown bigger than even Shade. You may have heard of the sitcom Evening Shade, starring Burt Reynolds. It was in the 90s. Many exterior shots were filmed in the Evening Shade, and Burt Reynolds has come back on a few occasions to commencement speeches for the graduation. There's about a half a dozen properties in Evening Shade that are on the National Registry of Historic Places. Out on the highway in Evening Shade, you do have a gas station, the Bank of Came City, which was Bank of Evening Shade at one time. General. Can't hardly have a town without a Dollar General. Because we're in the South. Evening Shade is also known for Strawberry River. It's about 80 miles long and it goes, starts in Salem and goes all the way to Black River. It's north of Evening Shade on Highway 167, which is also the highway that the bank and Dollar General were on just off of Main Street. There's access roads about every 10 miles to get to the Strawberry River. And we're on Simstown Road right now, which is one of the paved roads that would lead to the Strawberry River. There's about 1,400 acres of nature conservation sea, and the Strawberry River that goes to Black River ends near Lake Charles State Park. And so if you wanted to be close to the river and camp out or anything, Lake Charles State Park would have a place that you could do that. Most of the property on the Strawberry River is private property, so you wouldn't necessarily be able to camp.
on this porch area. Should be really nice with all the windows and screens. Now it is not centrally heated and cooled. We'll have a step up into the dining area, which has new flooring, new paint. And then you've got your kitchen. dishwasher and then your washer dryer area is over here more cabinets and then you've got a living area with fireplace you could put a wood stove back here too as well as you wanted more cabinet space there and you have three bedrooms and two baths this area of the home is centrally heated and cooled Here's one of the bathrooms, one full bath, more storage, another bedroom here, does have exterior access, and this third bedroom has its private bath, larger closet, Exterior access and another full bath. This is the attached garage. I have a couple steps down. Can't see a whole lot in here, but you do have two overhead doors. As well as on the other side of the garage is another bonus room. So much space to do so much with, and since you're on, a main highway would be perfect for a business and home opportunity with this building that's on the end of this. There's a cedar log plant over there, but you are set a reasonable amount of space back from the highway. This shop has concrete floor. Three phase electric, all kinds of shelves, We've got a wood burning stove, plenty of windows, boards, an overhead door, and then there's a whole other section over here, which you probably can't see really well, but there's not a lot of light over here. Plus, you have this parking pad, and there's a pond. Over there behind the house you can see the metal roof on the house we are on a main highway north of evening shade and here's another pad they could put another building on there's no restrictions out here Today we took a tour of Evening Shade, Arkansas. We got to see Main Street, the park, several businesses, went down to the Strawberry River, and a home that's for sale on the highway with a shop. I hope that you enjoyed this tour and got some information about Evening Shade, Arkansas. Take a look at this next video about a home in Ash Flat, Arkansas, as well as the neighborhood and community. Thanks for watching and have a blessed day.